do you know all the countries in the world or do you know the basics about all of them? I didn't either. But that's why I started this small series to give you at least a brief overview on the most important data of their political system. And today's video is about St. Kitts and Nevis. The official name of the country is the Federation of St. Christopher, St. Kitts and Nevis, also referred to as the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis in the country's constitution. The form of government is a constitutional monarchy and a federal state. The head of state, as in many other cases you heard so far, is Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And she is that since February 6th in 1952 in her capacity as Queen of St. Kitts and Nevis, represented by the Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis, um, S.W. Tapley Seaton, appointed on September 1st in 2015. The head of government is Timothy Sylvester Harris, Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, appointed on February 18th in 2015. It's uh, the second term of office since uh, June um, 7th in 2020. He's from the Team Unity, that's a People's Action Movement, People's Labour Party and the Concerned Citizens Movement and um, they joined together. The Foreign Minister is Mark Brantley. He was appointed on February 23rd in 2015 and was confirmed in office on June 14th, 2020. On the Human Development Index, they rank 74th place. According to the Constitution from 1983, the country is a parliamentary monarchy in the Commonwealth of Nations with a federal structure and the head of state is thus the British monarch, currently Queen Elizabeth II. She is represented by a Governor General. Sir Samuel Weymouth Tapley Seaton has held this office since September 1st in 2015. There is a National Assembly with 11 elected members and three members appointed by the Governor General with eight of the elected seats for St. Kitts and three for Nevis. The legislative period is five years. Nevis also has its own parliament with three appointed and five elected members. Denzel Douglas, Prime Minister from 95 to 2015, um, was the last before the current one and a very long lasting one. In the parliamentary elections on February 16th, Prime Minister Denzel Douglas, who had been in power for 20 years, was replaced by former Foreign Minister Timothy Harris. His People's Labour Party formed a coalition with the Concerned Citizens Movement and the People's Action Movement. The country is a member of CARICOM, the OECS, the OAS, and one of the sponsors of the University of the West Indies. In December 2008, the government decided to reinstate the death penalty by hanging Charles Elroy Laplace, convicted of murder. In doing so, the government tried to combat the high crime rate, which makes St. Kitts one of the countries with the highest number of homicides per inhabitant. It was in 2008 45 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants. Like the other former British colonies in the Caribbean, St. Kitts adopted the British legal system, but the abolition of the death penalty in the former motherland 40 years ago was not implemented. The highest legal authority uh, for St. Kitts is the Privy Council in London, which has overturned some death sentences already in the last few years. In the case of Charles Avril Laplace, the objection period passed unused. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.